We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that 80 years after it sank, a World War II warship is still polluting the local ecosystem. Remnants of war recoil beneath the sea. Poisoned mementos that leech and bleed and seep. Sunken spoils strewn like silt over lost and broken floors. Corroded ambitions spewing forth from violence that never thought to fade. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Frontiers in Marine Science, which has found that a World War II shipwreck has leaked many pollutants into the sea, changing the ocean floor around it. The seabed of the North Sea is covered in thousands of ship and aircraft wrecks, as well as millions of tons of shells, bombs and other munitions. These wrecks contain hazardous substances such as petroleum and explosives that may harm the marine environment. For example, it is estimated that World War I and II shipwrecks collectively contain up to 20 million tonnes of petroleum products alone. However, despite the huge potential environmental impact of these wrecks, there remains a lack of information about both their location and the extent of the pollutants that they are leaching into the sea. In this new study, researchers focused on the V1302 John Mann shipwreck. This boat had originally been a German fishing trawler before being requisitioned during World War II, and then sunk by the British Royal Air Force in front of the Belgian coast. Chemical analyses of samples taken from both the steel hull and surrounding sediments revealed concentrations of toxic pollutants that were closely correlated to the distance from the shipwreck, with the highest metal concentrations found in the sample closest to the ship's coal bunker. The researchers found heavy metals such as nickel and copper, polysilic aromatic hydrocarbons, a class of chemicals that occur naturally in coal, crude oil and gasoline, arsenic and even explosive compounds. The results of this study demonstrate that even after 80 years, a historic shipwreck can still significantly impact the surrounding sediment and marine environment. It also highlights the need for further observations of other shipwrecks to properly assess the total impact that these wrecks have on the surrounding ecosystems. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Remnants of war recoil beneath the sea, poison mementos that leech and bleed and seep. Sunken spoils strewn like silt over lost and broken floors, corroded ambitions spewing forth from violence that never thought to fade. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading After the Shipwreck by Alicia Ostrica. Alicia Ostrica is an American poet and scholar who was born in 1937 in New York City. She holds a bachelor's degree from Brandeis University and an MA and PhD from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Ostrica has published many collections of poetry, including One Small Out of Darkness, published in 1974, The Imaginary Lover, published in 1986, and Waiting for the Light, published in 2017. Her many awards and accolades include the Jewish National Book Award, the William Carlos Williams Award, and the Guggenheim Foundation Fellowship for Poetry. She currently lives in Princeton, New Jersey, and is Professor Emirata of English at Rutgers University. After the Shipwreck, by Alicia Ostrica. Lost, drifting on the current as the sun pours down like syrup sinking into afternoon. The raft endlessly rocks, tips, and we say to each other, here is where we will store the rope, the dried meat, the knife, 
the medical kit, the biscuits and the cup. We will divide the water fairly and honestly. Black flecks in the air produce dizziness. Somebody raises a voice and says, listen, we know there is land somewhere in some direction. We must know it. And there is the land looming, mountainous, massive on the horizon there in our minds. Then nothing but the beauty of ocean. Numberless waves like living hysterical heads, the sun increasingly magnificent, a sunset wind hitting us. As the spray begins to coat us with salt, we stop talking. We try to remember. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.